What's up, everybody? Jace here for, from jazbeescasebreaks.com doing 2017, or not 2017, Jaspie 17. I looked at the 17, thought 2017. Jaspie 17 box, bases loaded, baseball mixer, random teams, plus we're giving away a Vladimir Guerrero Bowman giveaway, Bowman Jr. giveaway. So there you go, that little Bowman Beckett, or Beckett, a 10. Right there, Beckett 10. Bowman baseball, Vladimir Guerrero card. So everybody gets uh, random teams. You receive all inserts, SPs, rookies, excluding paper. Variations, numbered cards, and the hits. All the veteran base plus paper cards are donated. At the end of the break, we'll take the list of customer names, randomize them. Top name will win the Vladimir Guerrero Jr. 2016 Bowman's Prospects Autograph RC BSA BAS10. There you go. Mixer includes a box of Museum 2018, a box of 19 Museum. Box of Bowman HTA Jumbo 2019, box of Bowman Chrome Hobby 18, two boxes of 19 Finest, one box of 18 Finest, two boxes of Gold Label 17, uh, 2018 Tops Inception box, 19 Tops Inception box, one Series 1 Hobby box of 2019, one Jumbo box of Series 2 Jumbo, and then one box of Donruss Optic, one box of Panini Donruss Baseball. So there you go. And then two boxes of Gold Rush Autograph Baseballs goes to the team they're currently on if active and goes to the team they played for the longest years and then games for retired players. So there you go. All to make 17 boxes. Good luck. Dice roll it. We have after three times. Wow, only three times. Nice. Three times. Started with Mark. We did a couple of these uh, envelope breaks, uh, 8 by 10s and then a lot of people got spots in here. 12 of them actually starting with Jason or sorry starting with Mike all the way down to Russell the list of teams and that was three times good luck one two and three after three times Jason at the top down to Mike at the bottom there you go now let's go three times on the list one two and three after three times pirates all the way down to the cleveland indians all right so jason you got the pirates ed with the nationals Chad with the Tigers, Mark, you have the Mariners, and Benny, you have the D-backs, Brian with the Mets, Jerry, you have the Yankees, Christopher Day with the Red Sox, Emma, you have the Cardinals, Chris Miller with the Blue Jays, Josh Pruce, you have the Dodgers, Bradley with the Orioles, Tony Barkey with the Phillies, Barry Roberts with the White Sox, Mark with the Angels, Asa with the Rockies, Bradley with the Tampa Bay Rays, Russell with the Reds, David H., you got the Brewers, Jason Miller with the Marlins, Kip, you have the Texas Rangers, Logan, you have the Cubs, TJ, you have the Royals. Uh, Russell with the Giants. Robert with the Padres. Rolando, you have the Braves. David Duffy with the Astros. Jason with the A's. Christopher Day with the Twins. And Mike Grego with the Cleveland Indians. James, not right now on the website. Once we move to our new store, get our Upper Deck Diamond Dealer license back. We should be able to have a lot more hockey here with me as well. So very soon. So I'll give you guys time to trade. Uh, so she just saying who wants the Royals and make this a little bit tinier Show everybody uh, CJ said who wants the Royals uh, Benny saying anyone want to trade for the D-backs Russ is saying Giants for Yankees What do you guys want to do? I'll give you guys a good minute since this is a huge mixer Maybe some deals can go down big boys double saying Brewers for Giants Of course, you can buy any spot on our website for tonight. Doesn't mean it's going to guarantee it's going to break, but jazbeescasebreaks.com. I think we're two spots away from Bowman Baseball HTA break. Um, but yeah, I mean, we'll see what we can do next. Jay said, I never got a good team in a round, but man, the Yankees? Oh. Hopefully, yeah. 
Mets, can you choose either Baltimore or Tampa Bay? Let me know if it's a confirmed, though. I know Big Boys 007 is a big Giants fan. I'm not sure if uh, you'd want the Brewers, um, Russell, but let, let, let Big Boys know. Russell's also saying Giants for the Orioles or Dodgers or Astros. <laughs> And I think Bradley's wanting Brian Crouch's uh, Mets. If you're here, Brian, listening to my voice. Live, at least. <sighs> I'll give you guys another 30, 40 seconds, just because there's a lot of people chatting. If there was nobody chatting, I'd just cut it off, but just because. Zesty saying anyone won the Marlins. So that's Jason Miller. Benny saying nobody for the Snakes. Try to trade, couldn't trade Mojo can take effect in this break for a lot of teams. And the good thing is it's a couple different years as far as, what, 2016, I think? 16, 17, 18, 19. Jeremy, anything on the website will go tonight if it fills. If it breaks, if it fills, it breaks tonight. Obviously, you know, it has to sell out, but yes. I don't mind staying after 11 o'clock to fill up breaks, so. But yeah, I think after this break, we're going to do the Immaculate number 23. And then we'll probably do Bowman Baseball HTA. So I'm assuming that's going to be the next schedule. Yeah, I know, Mike. We never changed that, but I mean, it's it's whatever. <laughs> I got to change that too, but it says it on the bottom description, right? Yeah. We might bring back, we might bring back Hockey Land, Mike. So might have to leave it there. Once we get our new store in the next month. Alrighty, guys. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna close the trade window then. Oh, wait. Giants for Mets. <laughs> I know, right? Everybody, yeah, I know everybody remembers me as Hockey Land. It's like any hockey, any hockey. I'm like, yeah. soon, guys, soon, soon. All right, last call for Russell Giants for Mets. I don't think Brian Crouch is here actually. So, yeah, I'll take the Mizzen mixer as well. Chat says, yeah. Yes, Nancy, I've, I've seen that. So that'll be after this mixer. So hopefully within the next 40 minutes or so. All right, sorry, guys. I'm going to close the trade window. Uh, what did I think of the NHL draft? It was pretty good. I, I, I love the Kings draft picks, at least. Um, I really like uh, their number fifth overall pick from USA. He was pretty good with, uh, with the number one overall pick in the USA development teams. So it should be fun. I think... There's a lot of good players that got drafted this year. They were pretty darn good. But I really do like that Turcotte dude. He's, he's, I think he's going to be really good. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, a lot of people were kind of like uh, Iserman picking a person that high, right? But yeah, a lot of, a lot of big Red, Red Wings fans do definitely have a lot of faith in him. Especially coming back to the Red Wings after the Lightning stuff. Alrighty, so good luck. Benny at the top of the D-backs. Remember, all these little arrow up signs, meaning you want these spots in the envelopes or the 8x10 breaks. Right there. Alrighty. So here are all the 17 boxes. They're all kind of nice and tidy back there. I put all the bigger heavy base stuff in the front that I kind of want to rip through first. So here's the 2019 Series 2. Here's the Bowman HGH Jumbo. Here's the Series 1. And then here's the Donruss 2019. So we're going to kind of go through these first. So I'm going to actually move this box back. And we'll go through these boxes first. So I'll push this back just a little bit. 
give him some more room to break. And we'll go to the Series 2 Jumbo first. I know there's a lot of short prints and stuff like that. And if anybody recognizes some of them, let me know so I can top load it. But our shipping team already has definitely dealt with a lot of these. So they should know what is a short print or not. So should be should be good. So good luck. Tyler White for Houston. That's number to 50. To start off, Manny Machado. Do they still pull old reprints of this? Oh, it's a reprint. Tyler O'Neill. These are the 2019. Look, that's the first one they printed. Is that Marlins? Faces of the franchise. It's all Toronto right there. the autograph Kevin Kramer Pirates to start off Jason Waters with the Pirates and that is number to 150 very nice Strike a pose. Leonard Braves. Brewer 2019. Why is it that the Bowman packs or the tops? Packs have to be backwards on one side and then the other one's backwards again. It's horrible having to flip through these. Brendan Morrill, 
Revolution, and we got a relic. George Brett for the Royals, medallion. 150th anniversary. These things are heavy. <laughs> uh, that's Royals, and that's TJ. So yeah, guys, I, I think this break is probably going to take me a good 45 minutes to an hour. I'm going to try to get it under 45 minutes, but I think the way it's looking like it's probably not. So I'll try to get done as quick as possible, but at the same time, you know, don't want to rush through it too much. Remember, we're only on box one, guys, and this is more of just the heavy base stuff. I think Series 1 gets one Relic, one Auto, one Medallion, or Series 2 Jumbos. So there's still plenty of hits out there. Autographed baseballs, you know, the museum collections, the finest, the Inceptions. This is just box one, so no need to sweat so early. <laughs> You're still good, Albies. Believe it or not, it could be a big uh, make it or break it type of break just with the baseballs. You know, you get that one baseball, it can make the whole break for you with your team you got. All right, last pack. And then we'll go with the next two bigger heavy base stuff. Baskets. Levine or Bench Auto Ball. Damn, Logan calling a shot already, like the babe. There's a relic, Michael Conforto for the Mets. We'll go get 55s actually. I don't know why there's no 55s here. So there you go, Mets. Brian had a lot of trade activity. People wanted the Mets. Alrighty, cool. One box down. 16 more to go. Alright, so this is now 2019 Series 1. Which, this is just regular hobby version, so you're either getting an autograph or a relic.
Well, I mean, I love all sports, Logan. Uh, with no hockey on, it's kind of a bummer. But, I mean, football and hockey are pretty much my one and one. Like, I, I love them equally. But all, sometimes it shows that I may love football a little bit more. And I was kind of explaining that to my wife the other day. It's like, I really love hockey and football, like, just right at the top of it, like, next to each other. But I feel like I get more excited for football because, y you know, you, you wait an entire week to watch just one game, right, on Sunday. And with hockey and kind of like baseball, basketball, it's where, like, they play almost every day or every other day. So it's a little different. But right now, I mean, I watch a little bit of baseball. But this is kind of the worst month for sports, right? <laughs> I mean, you got a couple drafts that just happened, but pretty much baseball is the only, only sport going on now. Or pretty much most of July. But the good thing is that hockey is pretty much around the corner already, just even though it just ended like a week or two ago. I mean, pretty much at the end of July, they'll start their training here in El Segundo for the Kings at least. And then by the time you notice, know like August... September will be preseason, and then October's here already. Just like that. But I'm more excited for football this year. Just because I'm also going to go to an Eagles game over there in Philadelphia, so I'm pretty excited about that. Danny Jansen. I try to watch NASCAR. I don't really watch it too much. Um, as of late, though, like this is the time where I kind of watch more shows on my downtime. If I'm not going out to birthday parties or... You know, family events, which usually in the summer there's a lot more. But right now I'm more into, like, just watching some good shows. Joey Votto. But NBA should be very exciting this year, though, guys. It's going to be pretty nuts. And then also with the new store... Um you know, helping, you know, get that place ready to go. Hopefully by, by the beginning of, of August should be, is, is also taking up a lot of time too. What do I watch now that Game of Thrones is done? Oof. All right. I don't want you guys to judge me, but you guys probably will. But I don't know if you guys watch Big Little Lies on HBO though. Ricky Henderson Relic for the Athletics. But that Big Little Lies show is it's pretty good. <laughs> I watch it with my wife. It's it's actually a really, really good show. So I'm looking forward to coming home tonight. <laughs> I'm going to stay up late and watch the episode that came out today. And it's with Reith, uh, Reese Witherspoon and um, Nicole Kidman and stuff. It's actually such a really good show. Meryl Streep is, is good, yeah, but she's crazy. <laughs> she's, she's something else. But she, she's a very good addition to the show, um, for sure. Um, but, yeah, it's a little... She's a little okay, right? Then it's Santana for the Dodgers. But, yeah, it's, it's, I, 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 it's pretty good. Um, I was getting in... I just started getting into Barry, which is another one on HBO that's really good. Um, I know Nick like killed it and loved it, or he's seen it when it first came out. And I think Joe also finished it too. But yeah, pretty much just just some TV shows now for now. I mean, I love to watch Hard Knocks when that comes out. I don't care who's on Hard Knocks. I I love watching it in general. I think Hard Knocks is such a great show. Oh, did I miss a Red Parallel? I'll check it out right now, Benny. Thank you for that. As in it's numbered. It's a bias. Okay, I can look at that. Waiting for River Wild 2. What is that, Logan? Ah, there it is. Thank you. Out of 76. Appreciate that. Like a USA one? Something different. It's for like nineteen or seventeen seventy six, right? 
Yeah, you're right, Jay. Thank you. I appreciate that. There you go. Cubs. <sighs> I went through this one already. Right? I went through this one, right? Let's double check. Oh, is it? Okay. I <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard. I mean, is it a really, really old show? I mean, is it a really, really old movie? Because, you know, remember, I'm a 90s kid. So, if it's that old. Unless I just don't know. Which, that could be it, too. Schwarber. Oh, it's in the nineties. Okay. Well, I actually I went to go see Toy Story four last night though, since you know it came out like right before I was born, or right after I was born. Sorry, came out, I think ninety three, right? Had to go watch Toy Story four. I gotta admit it was it was pretty good. I love how uh, you got new characters in there, Keel and Peel. Are hilarious. <laughs> that was fun. My favorite 90s sports movie. Oof. Or my favorite sports movie. Sorry, not 90s sports movie. Um, it's a tough one. I actually like a lot of sports movies. Ugh. Is it really, Jay? I got it, man. Um, damn, that's a hard one, Mike. Can I get top five at least? Or let's categorize them. Like, okay. I mean, like, I love, like, the kid ones. Like, the Sandlot's great and stuff like that. But maybe more of, like, not kids. I don't know. I really, I mean, I, I do enjoy, I mean, I'm an Eagles fan. I do enjoy the Invincible. But one, one that I've always liked I mean, remember the Titans is another one I've, I've always liked too, but I really like the Express, you know, with Ernie Davis. I I think that one was pretty underrated. Okay, by sport? Okay, so baseball. But yeah, I mean, I don't know. It's kind of tough for me. I really like the Express though. I don't really know too much of the older baseball movies besides like, yeah, like, I remember I seen The Natural one time for our varsity baseball team. We had a team movie night or something and we went to a pizza parlor in our neighborhood and he made us watch The Natural. <laughs> I was like, okay, which was cool, but I don't, I didn't really watch a lot of the older baseball movies. I mean, I, I love like Rookie of the Year, you know? I wanted to be Henry Rowan Gardner when I was a kid. Obviously, the Sandlot was always a good one. But, like, football-wise, I mean, I really liked Invincible. Like I said, the Express was probably one of my better ones that I liked. Um, remember, the Titans is good. Have your buys relic, two ninety nine. Sixty five ninety nine. All right, so you gotta tell me what is numbered or what's not. I feel like these are just normal. Diamond Kings, Brandon Crawford of 500. The one with Clint Eastwood. With, oh, that's right, yeah, he, the one with Justin Timberlake. Yes, that one that one was pretty good too. Yeah, like Moneyball's good. To ninety nine Jose Ramirez to nine ninety nine. Hey Bubba uh, catch Oh no problem. Yeah, that was a nice Iverson. Yes, trouble with the curve, that's right. 
yeah, it's, Sandlot's great. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of great movies. White Maryfield. Is that a number? I guess that's not a number. I'm trying to like think of other like sports movies that I liked a lot. I mean, I hate to say this. I hate to say this because I'm a big Kings fan, but I did love the Mighty Ducks movies when it came to hockey. <laughs> like, uh, I hate to say that now, but I really enjoyed it when I was a kid. My brother hated me for it, but at the same time, it's like, it was really good. Reese Hoskins for the Phillies. Jeremy, I know it's kind of sucks with Panini. They don't have logos, but they do have the... Uh, Right to the MLB players. So that's kind of a... At least they have that. And some of the more popular products, you know. Um, are always good that they still have something. But who knows? I mean, maybe in the near future, they can get the licenses. To 149, Sheho Otani. Slapshot. Didn't they release Slapshot 2 recently as well? I believe they did. I don't think I've ever seen that one. To 399, Jose Barrios. These would be numbers, I guess, or not. The original Longest Yard, I think I've seen, like, half of that movie. I, I've always, <laughs> well, I mean, like I said, I'm a younger guy, so I, like, always just like the Adam Sandler one. It's pretty cool. The Replacements. You worked on a few days on Moneyball? Oh, nice. Suarez for Cincinnati. Stinton to 999 American Pride. We'll look that up to see who he's a part of or affiliated with. Got a pink Felix Hernandez at 25. Who Happy Gilmore. Now, that's a... I guess that's a considered a sport movie. I mean, Adam Sandler's created some good sport movies. I mean, I love The Water Boy. <laughs> the Water Boy's so funny. That was hilarious. Some good movies, though, for sure. To 349, there's Stinton again. I was definitely like, what is that, Billy Madison, right? I was definitely one of those guys where at the movie theater there's a ton of kids everywhere but I was the only adult with my wife. <laughs> nah. We actually went really late at night but there were still actually kids out like at 11. I was like, Man, what are your parents doing? Gotta go, to, gotta go to bed. It's past your bedtime. With Maryfield for KC. Oh, Semi-Pro. Now that is a good movie. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, that's another one too. I mean, I can go on with that. Uh, I can go on with that actor. Kicking and screaming was great too. Will Ferrell. That was nice. Kristen Yelich to nine ninety nine. <laughs> Kicking and screaming was pretty funny actually. To one hundred three, Chris Sale. Oh, Talladega Nights, yeah, yeah, the Flint Flint Tropics. <laughs> Those are funny. Alrighty, guys. So, cool. We've done, what, three boxes now? Let's actually go to uh, Bowman Baseball 2019 Jumbo. And then we'll go to Optic. And then now we'll just kind of have the boxes that are kind of just uh, not too not too much, actually. Put these base cards in here. Uh, will Ferrell did another soccer one? Kicking and Screaming is one of the older ones he had, dude. He did another soccer movie? Space Jam, yes. Space Jam is a good one, too. 
Did you guys hear about the cast that's going to be in the new one with LeBron James, number two? Yes, that's kicking and screaming, mister. Mike Dicko was great in that movie, too. But yeah, I, I seen like Lillard's going to be part of the cast. <laughs> I know, Payne Manning's hilarious. <laughs> Payne Manning is very... He, you know, Eli Manning wasn't too bad either on SNL, but definitely Payne Manning was probably one of the better ones. <laughs> Payne Manning... Yeah, he, he could definitely be on SNL. I mean, I don't know if you guys watch Atlanta, but that's another show that I really, really got into that... I'm looking forward to season three with, uh, you know, Donald Glover, Childish Gambino. Atlanta's a really, really good show, actually. too sure i think i mean the first two boxes were just more of the series one and series two uh so it wasn't anything crazy i think the autograph came out was like a i mean this is really pretty much that's come out so far that are relics and autographs the rest of it is just kind of you know numbered cards but nothing too significant so like i said the first couple boxes i kind of just got rid of the bigger heavier products um, that way we can get those out of the way. Yes, they're making a Space Jam too. Yeah, with LeBron James. Should be interesting. All right, good luck, guys. Never actually got to break Jumbo, so I'm pretty excited. Only had to do hobby cases on eBay. And there's your first autograph, Augustine, for the Washington Nationals. Ed with a spot random mojo. Chance Adams to 499 rookie for the Yankees. It's going to Jay with the Yankees. Two fifty Moncada. And Renan Rogers to two fifty. I'll have a little hit recap video at the end of this break as well too, guys.
All right, there's one more autograph hiding in here. Where is it at? Um, I believe it's just the rookies um, that are not paper. I think it says in the description, though. You can double check that. But I believe all rookies and short prints variations will ship, excluding the paper. Paper rookies, I believe. I think those are being donated. Missing an autograph, or it's going to be somewhere here. Gorman, I'll double check as well, guys. Cardinals to 150. And there you go. Tommy Romero for the Rays. Bowman's first. Bradley with the Rays. Alrighty, guys. There we go. All right, so I'm just going to skip to the optic box, guys. And then after that, we pretty much just have those finest boxes that would have a handful of hits. That would be more with more base than anything. So let me quickly skip to this finest box. And then everything else should be pretty pretty easy and pretty quick. All right, 2016 so Donner's Optic Baseball. All right, good luck. Alex Rodriguez. Diamond Kings. Yankees. Michael Reed. Autograph for Milwaukee. Raider rookie. Milwaukee Brewers says David H. Big Boys 007. Ellington 
autograph for Miami. I think try to trade couldn't trade Mojo for Miami. Jason Miller. Is this an autograph hot box? Wow, it is an autograph hot box. Yeah. It's our third autograph. Corey Seeger for the Dodgers. Nice studio autograph. Dodgers. Josh Bruce. Michael Franco. Damn, you guys got a hot box. Philadelphia Phillies. Tony Barkey. Back to the future. Albert Pujols. Buster Posey for the Giants. Brian Johnson, Boston Red Sox. All right, so those six autographs, we're only supposed to get two, so that's pretty nice. That's solid. Some good names as well, too, guys. There you go. Very nice. Alrighty. Uh, let's actually probably go with some Topps Gold Label Baseball. 2017. We'll probably save Museum and the Baseballs for last. After this, we'll go to Topps Finest, and then we'll go to Inception. And then um, to Museum to the Autograph Baseballs. Alright, there's the gold frame. We'll put that at the bottom. Let's rip open the next box. only first. You can see the numbered cards that pop out of here. Chris Sale to 50. Altuve to 150 for the Houston Astros. Chipper Jones to 150. And there you go. All right, let's go to the autographs. First frame. The McGuire and behind Judge is a Hunter Dozier for the Royals. 256 of 501. Kansas City Royals. Can't see the Royals, TJ. And the last one. Behind.
and Jacob DeGroom. It's for the Mets, Gavin Shashini. Nice, New York Mets with that one. Brian Crouch. There you go. Alrighty, let's go some of these finest boxes. Let's go 2018 first. So this is finest, and you got Bowman Chrome, and you got finest right there. So that's how we'll go. Ciel Iglesias for the Reds. Finest autograph. Cincinnati Reds, that is Russell. Billy Hamilton for the Reds, the 250. I uh, just started rehab. Chichini started rehab after dropping off the face of the earth for over half of. Oh, really? Holds the L2 beat at 99. Trouty. Van Harrison. Bader, St. Louis Cardinals. St. Louis Cardinals, that's Emma. Alrighty. Let's go with the Bowman Chrome box now. And I believe we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine boxes left. So we're like halfway there, but these are all the quicker, easier boxes. So we should be done within the next maybe 10, 15 minutes. So probably going to run a little over an hour. But it's all good. Um, then we'll have the Immaculate number 23, I believe, sold out. And then um, probably do the... Uh, Bowman HTA break next, and I don't know what's gonna sell it after that. But if you guys want a break, we do something else after that. That should pretty much take us to about 11, though. So I think a lot of people after they get done with this break, they may stick around. I know it's a Sunday, so a lot of people are going back to work tomorrow. But um, 
You guys want a break? Again, I'm back tomorrow too, so don't think that the breaks are going to sit for another day until Joe gets back on Tuesday, so I'll be back tomorrow. So if something that feels that doesn't feel that you want it to feel, it's okay. We can break it tomorrow as well. Oh, okay, so he's a big... Well, yeah, I remember his name a lot for the Mets in the last year, but, yeah, I haven't really heard much about him, right? should be in here right I believe one in every mini box Carlos Correa 499 and Leonardo Rivas for the Angels Angels is Mark Irons Austin Allen to 655 for the Padres. Gratterall to 499 for the Twins. And that's an Otani rookie as well. And Daniel Gonzalez for the Boston Red Sox. Christopher Day with that one. Alrighty, let's go to the next two finest boxes. Actually, get all this base out of the way too. All right, here's two boxes of finest. Then all we have left is the two Inception boxes, 18 and 19. Museum collection, 18, 19. And the two Gold Rush autograph baseball boxes. And after this, give me about like five, 10 minutes to put stuff away. Get ready for the next Immaculate Break. And I believe 
The HTA break should be sold out, and if not, it should sell out tonight. And that could potentially be the last break of the night. And then tomorrow I'll be back starting live tomorrow probably around 4. A little earlier, maybe 3.30. And I'll be live again. For as long as you guys want to break with me. Alrighty, two boxes right here. Good luck. Jake Bowers, Cleveland Indians. And Danny Jansen. Toronto Blue Jays. It's Chris Miller. Josh Bell to two fifty. Pirates. And we got another one for the Blue Jays. Baruki to 99. Nice, nice Blue Jays box right there. Alrighty, next box. That. What? Another Blue Jay Danny Jansen this time to 150? What is going on here? Blue Jays is owning this two boxes. Trey Turner to 150. See what kind of autograph we have on this side now. Pete Alonzo for the Mets. Trey Mancini. Alrighty. Okay, so you got the two autographed baseballs right here. You got two Inception boxes and two Museum Collection boxes. So let's go with Inception. I believe we'll go 2018 first. So you get, uh, I think, one autograph or relic autograph per box. Ramal Tapia, Luis Severino to 
to 99. I believe it's base, base, base. And behind Harper is Mike Clevenger to 230. Cleveland Indians. Cleveland Indians, that's Mike Grego. All right, next Inception box. Now let's go fast forward to one year this year. Inception. Oh, did you really? That's funny. Yeah, I mean, get them while it's cheap, right? You got Andujar, Kevin Kramer to 75. Base, base, base. And behind Severino is the 25. That's Scott Kingdry for the Philadelphia Phillies. Nice. Phillies, Tony Barkey. All righty. Now let's go museum collection. We'll go with 2018 first and then we'll end it with the new one that you guys have been breaking for the last couple days I haven't done museum collection in so long guys the last time I did baseball museum collection was probably 2017 I did a lot of museum collection baseball I mean football but not much baseball Moogie bets to one fifty. Francisco Mejia, which I don't think these are numbered, it looks like. Adrian Beltre to ninety nine. Strasburg. All right, we got Will Myers. Albies and behind Randy Johnson is a dual patch to 50, 34, 50. That's Josh Harrison and Andrew McCutcheon. Pirates with that one. That is Jason Waters. Scherzer, J.D. Martinez. Behind Ichiro is Brian Dozier to 149, triple relic and autograph. Nice. And that is Minnesota Twins. Twins. Christopher Day. Behind Lou Gehrig. It's a quad for the Angels. Mike Trout, Pujols, Calhoun, and Upton. That is number to 75. Alright, and we got a Jose Canseco. 
Canseco autograph to two ninety nine. Oakland Athletics. It's Jason Waters. Play the whistle, Logan. I'm hoping some Cubs hits either museum or one of those baseballs. And the good thing is that we're still giving away that Vladimir Guerrero card, so you never know. And maybe you're the winner of that, and that makes up for the hit list. I obviously did get some Cubs numbered cards thrown over, but yes, I don't think any relics. So hopefully, man, I'm trying to get you something here, man. And that's everybody else. That goes to everybody else, too. I'm sure there's a handful of teams that haven't seen much for them. We did get the Baez Relic and that Red Peril, all right? But still, I mean, I guess everybody wants a little bit more, which is understandable. But, yeah. I mean, there's some. There's obviously some teams that haven't seen anything yet, so, so I'm trying to get right here. Last box before the baseballs. I saw a little Chris Sale, Eloy Jimenez, got a Freddie Freeman to 150 for the Atlanta Braves, and Luis Severino. All right, first one behind Ozzy Smith is Javier Baez. There's a little relic, a little there for the Cubs to 99. A little sketch. Reproduction card, but still. And we got Joe Maurer to 35, 33 of 35. That's a four color patch. That is Minnesota Twins. Another one for Christopher Day. We got Kyle Tucker to two ninety nine rookie for the Astros. David Duffy. All right, your last hit before the baseballs. Good luck. Behind Freddie Freeman, Paul DeJong. To 299 signature swatches. St. Louis Cardinals. Emma. There you go. Alrighty, guys. Two boxes left. The autographed baseballs. And just remember teams that they're currently on, if they're active, if they're retired, it's going to go to the teams they played for the longest or, uh, if it's a tie in, in, in years, games for retired players. Let's go with the first one.
and the first one we got is anybody recognize this? is it AJ Suarez Suarez or am I wrong anybody recognize this baseball before I actually see who it is There's the Beckett COA. And what the hell? Ted Simmons? I do not know how to read. Is that really Ted Simmons? I don't know about that, but we'll look up Ted Simmons, I guess. Ted Simmons is an older baseball player that played for 13 years with the uh, St. Louis Cardinals. Yeah, 13 years St. Louis Cardinals. So there you go. Alrighty, well, Ted Simmons, Cardinals. That's going to be Emma. And the last one. Anybody recognize this? 93 World Series MVP. Paul Molitor. It's pretty nice. I believe that's uh Milwaukee, right? Or wait, am I looking at the wrong one? I don't want to look at Paul Molitor Mal manager. <laughs> player and yes he played his whole career with the well not whole career but played 15 years with the milwaukee brewers so they go milwaukee brewers that's david h big boys 007 so got you out of your very long hitless streak it looks like and there's a jsa in there as well buddy and there you go guys that was the mixer let me quickly uh randomize the list of customer names and then we'll go through a little hit recap at the end of this video as well so remember 
If you did go hitless or didn't hit much, just some numbered cards, stuff like that, remember that we're still giving away the Vladimir Guerrero uh, Bowman Prospects Autograph RC BAS 10, which is right here. So everyone's going to have a shot at that. So let me quickly get the list of customers in the break. From Benny all the way down to Ed. We'll get a dice roll. List randomizer. And customer and number one is going to get that. Vladimir Guerrero, good luck. Let's roll it. And we got a two and a six. That's eight times. Number one gets the Vlad Guerrero Bowman autograph. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eighth and final time. After eight times, rolled an eight. Christopher Day at the top. There you go. So you're going to get that Vladimir Guerrero. And there you go, guys. That was the break. But let me quickly just uh, show you kind of more of the hits that came out of this break. So, of course, you guys see in the baseballs that just came out of Paul Molitor and, and uh, the, um, sorry, Ted Simmons baseballs that are right here. Here were pretty much all the numbered cards. Uh, we're going to top load those as well, or cards that need to be top loaded, of course. All of them, you know, numbered cards, some really nice stuff. There's pretty much all of these right here from all the boxes we've pop opened up. But hit-wise, I have a stack right here. For most recent, you got right here a uh, Paul DeJong. You got a Kyle Tucker relic, or autograph, sorry. Joe Maurer relic, Javier Baez, Jose Canseco to 299. Got a quad for the Angels. Hunter, uh, Brian Dozier, sorry, autograph. A duel, McCutcheon and Harrison. Yeah, Kingdry for the Phillies. Clevenger for the Indians. Pete Alonzo for the Mets. Danny Jansen for the Blue Jays. A rookie, Danny Jansen again for the Blue Jays. And you also had these ones here. Gonzalez for the Red Sox. Rivas for the Angels. Bader for the Cardinals. Iglesias for the Reds. Ciccini for the Mets. Dozier, Hunter Dozier for the Royals. And we had an autograph hot box in this Donruss optic. Brian Johnson, Franco, Corey Seager, Ellington, Michael Reed. You got Tommy Romero, Chance Adams, uh, Augustine. You got a relic here. Merrifield. You got a Reese Hoskins autograph. Ricky Henderson relic. Michael Comfort relic. Medallion of George Brett. And a Kevin Kramer right there. So there you go, guys. That was pretty much the hits. The rest of the stuff will get sorted out and shipped out to you guys very soon. Appreciate it, guys. That was the 17-box bases loaded mixer. Appreciate it.